So in this video, I'm gonna do something that I've always wanted to do. This is probably not the best one to start off with considering I know what's been done to it. See, a lot has changed. My, we're going. <laughs> we're leaking out of some shit. <laughs> Let's get back to the show. I do know at the end of that episode, the chain in the transfer case was slipping pretty bad, but it has been sitting in the long grass for a very long time. In today's market, these things are pretty cheap, so you can usually find a good one of these for around that $4,000 mark. This one here, not so good, but I'm not willing to spend $4,000 on another Jeep. So I know the motor runs sweet, the aircon pulley ended up seizing up at the end of the episode, but I have other aircons, so I can put that in, hopefully keep it going, or just shorten the belt and it's not going to be a problem. Put that transfer case back together, change the chain, and we'll be all right. So my plan is with this one, I've contacted a few sponsors that have helped me out in the past, mainly Oxbeam Lighting and Max Speeding Rods, and make it look a lot better than what it's looking right now. And also, I've gone on a shopping spree on eBay and bought a whole heap of aftermarket parts for this thing. So like I said, this thing has been sitting in the long grass for a very long time, so we'll see if it even wants to run. I know for a fact it doesn't drive because the transfer case is apart right now. I do not know how rusty it's gonna be in there. We don't seem to worry about that stuff. So we're back at it with one of my one of my most favorite types of Jeep. Since then I've got a new transfer case, so it's got a new transfer case in there now. Uh, I replaced the fan belt. If you remember that episode to so the aircon pulley down there, that seized and then melted the fan belt. But since then, yeah, I've just been working on this thing, making it run again, making it move again under its own power. Foam, foam, foam everywhere. So yeah, these are the poly blocks that we're going to be installing in the front shock. So that'll just pretty much raise the coil about three inches. And then, the rear, these are leaf in the rear. So we got these extended shackles just to lift it up a bit higher. And then, if you want to, you can lower the, you can lower the gearbox, which is what these are for. So these are pretty much replaced. These things here will do the exact same thing that this here is doing. It just lowers the cross member, so that way your gearbox comes down, and then that way you drive sharp a little bit. So I'm probably not going to be using them. I might throw them in. So they look cooler than the piece of box section that's in there. Now considering what we're doing, this is going to help nothing whatsoever. The only thing this will do is look for underneath the car. So these are from Max Speeding Rods as well. They're pretty much just an adjustable front arm. So that way if you want to adjust the drive shaft angles or how your diff sits or lengthen it so it sits properly, this is what you'd buy. So Max Speeding Rods as well. Got four of them, uppers and lowers, and that should be good. Another thing I've got, but since it started working, is the fuel pump. So I bought a new fuel pump. Next day, the brand new fuel pump, that'll keep that pressure up there. But for some reason, it started working now, which is good, but painful because I spent $150 on a fuel pump. But that's all right. At least we got a spare one now for all the other Jeeps. Next up is our order from Oxbeam lighting. This should be a lighter. That'll go along the roof. I got some brackets for that, which will make it awesome. And this box here. So these are replacement headlights. You can see those ones are pretty munted. These ones will just go in there. Perfect. It's gonna be gorgeous. Oh yeah. And then come to my order from eBay and I have purchased some mad flares. So these will go like that. Mad flares and last but not least 
is our light bar bracket, which will go somewhere like that. The light bar right on the roof. Maybe that goes on the other side, so it actually sits flat. That would make sense. So yeah, Maddie's coming around today to help me out. Hopefully we get this thing smashed out in one day and it's gonna transform this yard ornament into a pretty cool looking yard ornament. Let's get to it. All right, first thing I'm gonna tackle is probably the headlights. Change them over and then we'll put that light bar on as well. What a difference that made. That's heaps better, it looks so much better too. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm gonna quickly do that side and then we're gonna move on to light bar. Right, that's on, I don't like how that's brackets exposed but there is a bolt in the back which ain't a bad thing I did have to do some massaging to get that to bend around because it did say this is for a curved and it was pretty much the only one I could find but it seems to work so it bolts in there comes around but it just pokes out that little bit it's probably not the best looking one but I cranked the hell out of these bolts and they didn't strip out so that tells you something maybe it's meant to be mounted like that but who knows Maybe I just have to, I just have to look for a curved bar to replace that with. But these brackets are like 30 bucks, so I wasn't that worried about massaging them and straight light bar. Doesn't look too bad. Probably would look better if it was a curve, but I'm not worried. Looks good to me. Ah, uh, Maddie's here. Hey, Matt. You're not wearing the shirt I gave you. No. Unbelievable. I've been wearing it all week. It's in the wash. Hope you washed it. It's in the wash. Alright, so we jacked the car up, taking the sway bar out so that way we can get a bit of flex. And then we're gonna, I thought while we're here we might as well put those spaces in. Then we can change these arms while it's easy to get to. Have the jack and a jack stand saving my life. Hopefully that's all I need. Should be easy enough. I'm hoping this shock is actually long enough. That shock's trashed. It broken. That's right, we don't need shocks. It's just a pretty yard ornament, eh, hey, mate? Yeah. Looks good, though. Look at, I think Maddie's falling in love with it. I like the body shape. You're falling in love with it, aren't you, Matt? Mm, a little bit. You wait until we're done after today. Mm. All right, we'll get to it. Faces in, new trailing arms done, but there is a problem. The top ones, now these ones right here are different to the ones that are in the car. The ones that are in the car are like these ones. So it's going to have to miss out on its top arm. This is a short arm kit for my TJ, so that can just go in short arm kit box for later. Hey Matt. Yep. Yeah? What are you doing? Sorting out tools. Yep. Because it's disgusting in here, isn't it? Disgusting. It's messing with the OCD. It really is. <laughs> yeah. So that poly box in, coils back in, new arms in, I had to lengthen it a bit. Hopefully it looks like it's sitting about the center, which is good. So that's one side done. So you can get the other side done. That's heaps higher than what it was. Probably about three inches higher to be exact. I'd say so. Now if you're going to do it properly you'd obviously get shocks to suit but we're not doing it properly. We're only doing it to make it look good. That is it. It's 
probably going to be horrible off-road. It's actually probably going to make it worse. That's okay. It'll definitely look cool. That's what we're after. Maddie, don't forget to tighten up that nut. Yeah, and then they look good. It looks like it does something. Well, what do you reckon? We put some flares on. Right Let's make it happen. Let's put some flares on. Yep. Oh yeah. So I'm just uh, unbolting this flare off here, so we can bang it on these new ones. Personally, I like the white ones a little bit better. We'll see how we go. Spent 300 bucks on new ones, we've got to use them. I don't recommend buying these ones, but we do it so you don't have to. Matty lift is in. Yes. It's looking very good. Looks heaps better. Nice and high. We just gotta get those rear flares on. That's why I'm trying to figure out how to get these rear ones on. Not looking forward to that bit. There you go, look. Okay. It done something. Probably gonna loosen that one. Let's see it squished it. Squishy. No, that'll be. Yeah, I really don't recommend buying these players. These are fucking trash. Front ones look alright, but they're one piece. So I don't understand how they couldn't make the rear ones one piece. I'm guessing I bought the wrong model. I would say so. But they are just shockingly crap. So don't buy these. I've yeah. done it for you. Hashtag nasty. Hashtag nasty. Well, let's do the other side. I do not want to film that. What's the last thing we got to do, Matt? We've only got to, we've only got to change wheels and then we're done. And bolt the fuel tank back in. We take her for a demolition derby through the scrub. Whatever. Yep. Undo all our hard work. <laughs> all right. Let's get this other flare on. Let's change some wheels. Let's do it. All right, Matt. Both flares are off. They were trash. Now, one thing left is to change the wheels. Now, I'm going to take the wheels off my TJ and then they're going on this thing because as you can see the wheels are very far in and the TJ wheels are very far out so hopefully it'll look good and then because I don't want to change the flares on the TJ because they're color coded and it's for the Renegade so I don't want to change it
this thing turned out absolute. <laughs> it turned out so good. That is awesome. Looks sick. Love those headlights on this thing. Before we wrap this thing up, I want to let you know about their shirts. Shirts are available for pre-order. We have shirts, we have hoodies. So the first 10 orders, I'll throw in two stickers, one for you, one for your mate, or one for you, one for your car. Doesn't matter. Jump on there. Uh, link will be in the description. Also, for everything I used here today, I'll throw a link in the description. Light bar brackets, light bar headlights, three inch lift for the flares, and I'll throw a link in the description for you. Uh, highly recommend everything but the flares. The flares aren't that good a quality. They were quite expensive. I think I paid about 300 bucks for those flares, and they're bit average so i'm a bit disappointed they turned out pretty shit but they look all right from a distance when you get up close you can see that they're sitting really close to the wheel when there's like that much gap from there to there so um i told you they're crap don't buy the flares everything else absolutely sweet but that's it for this video thank you very much for watching this thing turned out awesome it is now a great looking yard ornament better than it was before other than that thank you very much for watching you have a good day see you next time